What's blooming in October? My sweet potatoes. Hey everybody, Kay here on my Tennessee homestead late bloomer channel and I just wanted to let you know that late bloomer me I am going to be at the Homesteaders of America conference in Virginia this weekend and if anyone is visiting the conference please look me up especially if you're one of my longtime fans I really want to get a photo and meet you in person so make sure you look for <laughs> the late bloomer t-shirt I'm gonna be everywhere photo bombing and meeting everybody that I can. That's the whole reason I'm going. I want to make connections with the homesteading community. So I look forward to seeing you there. And one of the ways you can get in touch with me is you could leave me a comment on one of my videos. I believe Justin Rhodes is having a get together of his members of which I'm one at noon on Friday in tent a. So that would be a great place to find me. Just look for my t-shirt and go, hey, Kay, late bloomer. And I love it when that happens. So be sure and look for me there. Now, I just wanted to show you this morning I went out and you'd be surprised what is still blooming the first week in October. Take a look. What's blooming in October? My sweet potatoes. Yay. What's that? Big old fly. Hi there. Smile for the camera. You're kind of scary looking fly there. Yay! So excited. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Such a pretty pale lavender color. The white ones are still blooming too, and they're so pretty. Look at that. I wish they didn't fall over. So you could see them better. I called this the Scarlet Runner the other day. It's actually the Cardinal Climber. So pretty. Can you believe this? I've got blooms all over this pepper plant. I'm shocked. A whole bunch of blooms here. Oh, and this one's blooming too. Wow. It would be so cool if I got more peppers. I saved these seeds today. That's um, called a pumpkin jalapeno. These are weeds, but they're actually very pretty. hard to see, but they're pretty. The bumblebees are almost frantic on this. This is the African blue basil, which was the number one choice for bees in my California garden. But there it was honeybees, and here it's bumblebees, presumably native bumblebees. Oh, look, it's broken. It got too heavy and it got split down there. Oh boy. I'm gonna have to give this a major prune when it stops blooming. I'm gonna leave it as long as I can. Don't 
they seem to be rather frantic. They just know that, well, plus it's threatening rain too, so. I got my clippers out here and I didn't, but these absolutely have to be. Maybe I can twist it. These are the calyxes of the Roselle and they look like they're ready to pop. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, good. Okay. Look at that. It's just ready to pop. Mm -hmm. I got to I got to clip that one. Rain is kind of Here comes the sun. Come on. So pretty. Another one of those really huge spiders that I keep seeing here. And there was one in the garage. Look, it's attached to its to its web. It probably got a little confused when I opened the door and it got separated from its web. But these are pretty scary looking big spiders and I don't want one. If they want to live outside in the garden, I am okay with that. I just don't want them inside. And there was one in here and it was, it ran out that crack and it darted over here and it froze when I opened the back door. And I sprayed it with home defense, but man, I think I emptied a half a cup on that thing. Uh, what kind of an insect is that? Oh, look, we've got a yellow butterfly, two yellow butterflies. The blue spice basil still has a few flowers on it. What is this? Oh, this is the, um, I want to say this is marjoram. Let's see. Oh, no, that is stevia. Hmm. I don't think I've ever seen stevia's blooms. I should have cut that back. Mmm. That's delish. another branch of it down here growing up in the the blue spice basil as big as the other one, but wow, <laughs> just oh, well, there's a honeybee. getting washed out. Hmm. Is that from late season or is that from rain? There are just a few blooms on these flower stalks, spikes. Here's a little pepper. 
pepper plants are pretty much done. I mean, they're still blooming, but you know, we're not gonna get a pepper this year. In fact, this one's got a lot of blooms. Look at that. That's a sweat bee, what we used to call a sweat bee. It's also um, a surfed fly. The surfed fly family is really huge. Look at all these blooms. Why weren't you blooming earlier? I found my other lavender. <laughs> it didn't bloom. It's way down here. It grows slowly. I love cosmos. Roselle and okra are part of the hibiscus family. So you have the same kind of flowers. And you see the calyx is open right now. But that's going to close and swell up like it's pregnant. And that's when you take it and candy it for desserts. Eat it with ice cream. Can't wait to do that. And what is this? What is this creature? Oh, it flew away. I don't know what to do with this Cape Gooseberry. Let's try that. Like I said, it's an acquired taste. Some German chamomile. Oh, look. It isn't blooming yet, but this should be in bloom by the time I get back. This is coneflower, echinacea. There's a honeybee. Where are you? Where'd you go? Don't go away. More than one, I see three, four, five, six. Well, that's good. Oops. These are almost black and kind of shy. Let's try another one of these, shall we? I mean, they're good. I think you could make some jelly out of this. Mm. Dandelion is blooming. This has still got blooms on it. This looks like tomatillo. It grows a lot like the Cape Gooseberry with the little lanterns. Ah, look at that mushroom, that puffball mushroom. Three days later. Of course, this is a medicinal plant. I've got this growing everywhere. There's narrow leaf, and then this is the regular size leaf but it's blooming. And limes have such a wonderful flavor. You can just squirt it on anything. I put it on my veggie scramble this morning. They're everywhere. Um, this might top off my sister.
You see that big branch over there? I was just sitting inside and it just fell off. So one of my fans, I think Mary, said that when she saw my video this morning, she felt like the rest of those Guatemalan squash were ready to pick. So there may be a slight difference in coloration. It's supposed to be the Guatemalan blue heirloom banana squash, but there's also a pink banana squash. So maybe something got mixed up there. But I'm very excited that I have a 14 pounder so far, which they only grow normally from six to 10 pounds. So that is incredible. That is the biggest thing I've ever grown. And I'm gonna go see if a couple more are ready now. So let's go. This one's not 14 pounds. <laughs> See? It's blue on the back. This one is uh, probably no good. It's kind of rotten at the top. Kusha has a very skinny neck. That's the weak point. I have one big beautiful one over there. I'm very excited about that. And I have 11, 11 more melons. And I have 11 more winter squash. Didn't we just do this? You know, this is not as heavy as it was last time. Hmm. But I've got a lot of squash <laughs> for me. I've got enough to last me. Well, it depends on how long, my, how long they last, you know? I'm pretty excited though. Okay, it's getting dark, the light's on. Need to get in, get a little more packing done and uh, get out of here in the morning so thanks so much for following my journey and I hope you subscribe if you haven't already hit that bell for notifications scroll down and click all so you won't miss anything right here especially if you're starting over like me and you want to know what kind of challenges you might face if you took on something like this a number of people have written to me and told me that they were going through major life changes and that I was inspiring them and I want to continue to do that. I want to put a bright, <laughs> shiny face on all of this because it is so important that we take back our food security at a time when we know the food shortages are, are coming. They're already here. The high prices are here. It's, there it hasn't been a better time since maybe World War II that we should be growing our own food. So. If there's any way you can participate in that, the world is a better place. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in Virginia. If you enjoyed this video, please watch these. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And I'll see you in the next video.